Join me tonight as I image not one but two famous deep sky objects from my backyard in Scotland. Hey folks, my name's Steve and welcome to Scotia Astro. It's getting a good deal chillier here in the UK, but winter in the Northern Hemisphere means long nights of imaging, if the weather holds. Tonight I'll try and complete a wide field composition of two stunning emission nebulae known as the Heart and Soul. They're located in the constellation of Cassiopeia, which is in prime location at this time of year for me, sitting high above my backyard. This means I'll be able to keep the imaging rig on it for several hours and hopefully capture a detailed image, which I'll share at the end of the video, so stick around for that. The equipment I'll be using to capture the heart and soul is perfect for getting a wide field shot while at the same time sucking in as many photons as I can into my camera's sensor. Links to all of the equipment that I'm using are listed in the description below the video, so go and check them out. It's going to be a clear day here with no chance of rain, so I'll head out just now and set up for tonight. The telescope is actually a camera lens and it's one of my favourites for this kind of job. The Samyang 135 is legendary in astrophotography circles and for good reason. Its fast focal ratio of f2 coupled with its focal length of 135mm is perfect for capturing large areas of the night sky in short sessions. The camera that I'm using tonight is the excellent ZWO 2600MC Pro which has an APS-C sensor and gives me a high resolution image every time. I could have also used my other one-shot colour camera, the 533MC Pro, which would give me a more punched in view and better framing, but I'm currently testing it for a new rig that I'm building, so it's otherwise engaged. If you want to see what I'm planning with the 533, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification below so you don't miss any of my future uploads. In between the lens and camera sensor, I'll place a 2-inch narrowband filter, the awesome Optolong Elix Stream, which will isolate hydrogen alpha and oxygen 3 emissions that ooze from these types of deep sky targets. Because I'm shooting at f2, the high speed would normally mean that I'd require a different filter. Some reports have suggested that the L-Extreme is better suited to slower systems, but I like to experiment with the gear that I have, and with my particular copy, this filter's held up well when paired with the Samyang, in my opinion anyway. See what you think at the end of the video when I share the image. If you own the L-Extreme and have used it at high speeds, let me know in the comments below how you're getting on with it. For guiding, I'll be using the ZWO290MC Pro attached to the ZWO30mm guide scope. I'll use a ZWO EAF or electronic autofocuser to make sure that my stars are pinpointing and focused throughout my session and I'll be doing a separate video on this in the future so stay tuned for that. All of this is held together using a customised ring system from the folks over at Astrodymium. This connects my EAF seamlessly to my Samyang lens for precise focus control and has various plates and rail mountings to add other accessories like a guide camera. I'll be controlling this session with the mini but mighty ASI Air Pro. This little red box will take my images at regular intervals, maintain focus automatically, and keep my mount locked onto its target, all from my iPad. Speaking of mounts, I'll be using my Skywatcher AZ EQ6 GT Pro tonight, which is way overkill for the weight of my equipment, but like I mentioned before, I'm building another rig at the moment, my smaller mount's being used for that. All we need to do now is wait for darkness to fall and we'll get underway. Well folks, that's the imaging session over for tonight. I'm really happy with the way things went. I'm just gonna look over the raw data now, get it edited up and share the final image with you. I just want to thank you all for tuning in and I've recently seen that I've passed 200 subscribers here on the channel. I'm really enjoying producing these videos here from my backyard in Scotland and sharing my astro adventures from the UK, so hopefully you'll stick around for a few more, but I can't thank you all enough for the support. It means a lot. Well, I'll leave you now with my final image of the heart and soul. Take care of yourselves, best wishes from Scotland, and clear skies to you all.